Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will start a new series for GAP. GAP is a very powerful and interesting software for network modeling. So we will integrate the reservoir model, the material balance model, the well model with this GAP for the surface or network modeling. Okay, so in previous series, we have completed the network modeling, network simulation for gas. Okay, and hopefully now we can make a series of videos for network for oil. Okay, for oil network modeling. Hopefully, I don't know whether I can complete the entire exercise, but I, you know, I can say that it's going to take some time it's going to be quite a lengthy series of video because I just want to do it one step at a time. Okay, so hopefully you can follow me, you can learn together with me. We have, you know, we have the prepared model for the reservoir model, the material balance model using MBAL software. And we have also prepared the well model from Prospers. So in this video, we are only focusing on the network building, okay? Building the network and take the data from Embal and from Prosper that they are ready right now. Okay, so this video is going to be very short and, you know, it's just introductory. And so let's get started, you know. So to start, we first go to options and select method here so you can follow me okay we will do it one step at a time so for oil modeling start from basic system type production you can also select water injection gas injection gas lift injection i don't know but i hope i can cover as many exercises as possible for many many scenarios but okay that's dream for another day let's focus on this first Production, optimization method, production, PVT model, black oil. It's going to be very interesting for full decomposition, right? But no, black oil. Prediction on, prediction method, pressure and temperature. And wax or hydrate warning for black oil will be inactive. Water vapor, no calculations. Temperature model, rough approximation heat transfer coefficient, enter heat transfer coefficient, calculate well chalk delta T, delta temperature of, brine properties correlation, we will use default correlation rather than this correlation. And then for the water viscosity, also we will use default correlation, but you can also use pressure corrected correlation. And Allow transient pipes, it will be inactive for our basic case. Okay, and then we can click on OK to exit the screen. Good. This completes the system setup and reinitializes the program. And before closing this video, we need to check the units. Okay, in order to define the units, we click on this units button and you can also select latin si french si international standard right german si and then norwegian or oil field we are currently using the oil field system okay and the unit system can be selected by pointing the cursor in the cell below input so let's see edit units okay so once again a units a unit system can be selected by pointing the cursor in the cell below input here yeah. you see we have drop down menu there it's very basic right you can also change or you can check the shift and multiplier here again you can change the input and output unit okay it's very it gives us freedom okay in which system you are comfortable you can just select that 
Okay, for further details, you can go to the PVTP, sorry, not PVTP. You can go to the, the gap manuals, you read it there, and hopefully you can get more knowledge regarding the unit section. Okay, so first thing first, I think I will click cancel and let's review the units to see whether we are familiar or comfortable with everything. Let's see for the flow rate. I expect it is barrel oil per day or stock tank barrel per day here, yeah, liquid rate, stock tank barrel per day for the input and output. So I think it's good. Okay. So let's click on OK to complete the selection of units and to close the screen. If necessary, later we can modify the unit system when we enter the input data. Okay, so that's for the introduction. I think we can stop it here. In the next video, we will start, you know, we will start drawing the network system. We will put the reservoir, we will put the well, and we will connect them with pipes, something like that. But I think that's a work for another day. So thank you so much and see you again.